So hopefully what happened is if you've read the movie go, or at least the part that I assigned it, you were introduced to the character Binks Boiling. You were introduced to how an American was living in the 1950s. And the great aspect of life in the 1950s is you're actually not fighting a battle. You're not fighting for your life. But the dangerous aspect is that kind of falling into the everydayness of life might take out a lot of its purpose and meaning. This is why uh, I assign to you, in addition to the moviegoer, the first uh, episode of the first season of the great uh, Mad Men. The episode is titled Smoke in Your Eyes, and I think that that title of the episode is very telling to what uh, the producers of, of the show are trying to introduce us to as they give us a picture, likewise a picture of life in America in the 1950s. Uh, where does the scene begin? What's the first scene? You have uh, character Don Draper uh, in a bar, and, and what's everyone doing? Everyone's lighting up a cigarette, and everyone's smoking. Uh, so uh, Don Draper asks his waiter, he says, why do you smoke? And the waiter says, what? I don't know, I just like smoking. Well, why do you smoke this certain pack? Well, I've always smoked uh, that certain pack. But what we're being introduced here to right, is marketing. Well, why do people smoke? Well, because everyone smokes. Well, why do they smoke a specific brand? Well, because they've been shown that that brand is good for them. Material well-being, material happiness that comes from having something marketed to you. But then the question is, is that necessarily good for you? Is it good to be marketed to? Mad men are what? They're advertising men who live on Madison Ave in New York City. Their job is to get you to buy things. But is everything that you consume something good for you? And by the way, is a life of consumption good for you? That's the point, I think, at the beginning uh, of, of this uh, portrait of, of life. Now, another thing that's very important for you to take into account here. You've heard me say over and over again that oftentimes when you're talking about a political community and why it operates the way that it does, it operates a lot like a cave. So where are we in that cave? Well, we as citizens are oftentimes looking at a wall and what's being projected on that wall? Well, advertisements, right? ideas, slogans, things that are made to do what? That are made, us to, made for us to think that what we're seeing on that wall is something that we need. So a lot of what's going on here in this episode suggests what the relationship is like between those who lead us to do certain things and then our behavior. Why is there any problem with this? Why is there any problem with being led in a certain way? Well, think. Think of, what that's, think of what is at the core of this episode. Is it a good thing to take a projection given to you and to work with it? Well, it may be okay when it's a dishwasher or it's a television set. But what happens when you're inhaling a cigarette? You're actually killing yourself materially. So the point here is that smoking is not good for you. Everyone knew back then that smoking what was not good for you, but leaders and advertisers and all the rest were willing to do what? They were willing to give people something that was bad for them right, in order to make a dollar. And that really becomes a question. Many good things happening in the United States as material well-being abounds, but at what price, at what cost are we willing to enjoy the material pleasures that we have? Thank you.